In 2015, we left the rat race and went to the farm. We bought a 100-year-old farmhouse and nine acres. After three years of extensive renovations, we can finally call ourselves College Hill Farm. Welcome back to College Hill Farm. Today, we're raking hay. Today, we're gonna to rake our hay. Uh, I have, uh, life happened between the cutting video and this video, so it's actually been about a week and a half. Uh, we had some storms and that prevented me from picking up the hay. Then we, I had some other things, life happens. Uh, had this hay have been for animal consumption, I would have wanted to get it out of the field on the third day. But that didn't happen. But this hay is for mulch because I haven't got hay eating animals yet. I've got chickens, but I don't have the goats and sheep. Hopefully I'll have those this fall. Uh, but today I'm gonna rake the hay. Now, buried behind me, you can see the hay rake. It's buried back there in the weeds. Of course, it only gets used three times a year. So you can pick up one of these little cheap hay rakes. I bought this one off of uh, somebody used for 350. Uh, you can get these relatively cheap. That's the number one thing you have to have to do hay. And uh, a bucket on your tractor helps, but I'll show you that when I first bought the hay rake, I didn't think about how to pick up the hay. I was using a hay fork. Today, we're gonna use the hay rake, so I've gotta drop off my quick hitch. It won't attach to my hay rake. Uh, I could put pins on that long and it still wouldn't attach to my hay rake. I don't know what that's about, but uh, it just won't attach and that's okay. You know, the quick hitch is quick to come off. You can check that video out, the Harbor Freight $99 quick hitch review. And I'll go ahead and get the quick hitch off and get this hooked up. Here you can get a better look at my hay rake. Uh, you'll notice that when it's up, the top link crashes into this but it kind of has to come up that far to get it off the ground. So that's a problem, but it's just not insurmountable. I, I don't worry too much about it. Uh, you'll also notice that my hay rake is missing a few times. See this one right here? It's missing one, two, three, four times. But the truth is the wheels turn so quick that those four times aren't missed. Uh, I can buy these wheels for about $100 a piece if I need to get one through Agri Supply. Uh, I paid $350 for the rake. Uh, I had to go out in somebody's field. I took my pickup truck. I got it, got it home, got it put together, put it together wrong. Had to take it back apart, put it back together. Uh, so I finally got it. And the way it works is when the wheel at the far right here goes down on the ground, it picks up a little bit of hay and passes it to the second wheel. Well, the second wheel's picking up hay too. You drive right over the hay with your tractor. And then as you're doing that, it just keeps picking up hay and it deposits it out here to the left wheel of your tractor. And it'll all be in a, in a pile. So that's called a windrow. And once that's all raked up into windrows, then I'll show you how I uh, pick it up without having a hay baler. It's 11 o'clock, or close to 11, and uh, the sun has uh, pretty well dried the dew up off the field. Now remember, I'm not gonna get as much hay because I fooled around and let it be a week before I raked it. Had I cut it, waited two days and raked it, I would get more. But what's happened is some of the grasses have grown up and it'll be hard to pull them out of there. But I'm gonna show you how to rake. I make a pass down one side, then I come back with a pass right down the other side and that makes the wind roll bigger. I get probably about a nine foot swath cleared that way. So I'm gonna do that and uh, just let the video run. Normally I go around in a circle around the field I go around one direction and turn around, go back the other direction and pile up the hay. But I'm gonna do this in a single straight pass so that you can see it. And uh, I'll just go ahead and do that now. 
I've screwed up. What I didn't do when I put the rake on was adjust the sway control. I got so used to having the quick hitch on, the sway control is always set and you don't have to reset it. But when I put this on, I need to adjust the sway control. What was happening was, as the rake is set at the correct angle to rake, but what was actually happening was when I would set the rake down, it caused the rake to slew to the side because the sway control allowed the hitch to move. And that made the rake be flat up to the tractor almost instead of at the angle that it's supposed to be. So I'm gonna fix that and give it another shot. I got my rake adjusted. Uh, I thought since I had showed you the other field, I went ahead and raked it while I was at it before I got off the tractor. So, because I knew I had another field that I could bring you down and actually show you the rake in action uh, working correctly. So, I'm going to go ahead and rake this field and let you all see how it works. It does real good and, and I'll just make a couple of passes and you'll see how I, what, a, uh, what a job it does. Now right there is what a good windrow should look like. It's fairly clean. I, I could do some cleaning up over to the right of that tree some more, but I'm not going to worry about it. I've got to, I'll have enough hay to mulch everything I want to mulch and then some. Uh, so I'm off to cut to uh, rake the rest of it. And then this evening, I'll show you how to put it up. The hay's all raked. Uh, I'm melted, but you got to make hay when the sun shines. Show you how to pick it up either this evening or tomorrow. I'd like to thank you for visiting with us at College Hill Farm today. I hope you found our videos entertaining and, and or informative. Uh, if you did, please like, share, subscribe, and comment on both Facebook and YouTube. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.